Mini SUS lineup is rife with choice, from the basic two-door and four-door Cooper hardtops to the club man wagonette to the crossover by Countryman to the Cooper convertibles. Factor in three engines and two transmissions, and Cooper derivatives number in the dozens. Now consider that Mini S home market of Great Britain gets everything we get, plus four additional power plants. Should we be jealous? In some cases, no specifically, the pair of gas on diesel powered Mini 1 models, whose engines are so weak they are anti worthy of the Cooper name. The two more powerful diesels found in the base D and sportier SD models, though, are somewhat more interesting. We had the opportunity to experience both, in the form of a Cooper D Clubman and a Cooper Hardtop SD 4 door hatchback which Mini calls 5-door in its home market, while in the UK for the unveiling of the Mini Vision Next 100 concept. The test drives were brief less than an hour in each on roads ranging from 8-lane motorways to narrow, serpentine paths originally mapped by the Romans. Each of these diesel coopers generally look and feel just like their gasoline-powered counterparts, with the same perky handling chatty steering, and optional drive modes that have more or less the same effect on their dynamics. Feature-wise, they square up with their gas-powered counterparts, too. But at the end of the day, there was only one that we wanted to stick in our carry-on and bring home. And no, it wasn't the quicker one. Cooper D, come join our club, man! It turns out the plus size, for a minute, Cooper Club Man and Mini S2.0 liter four-cylinder diesel are a great match. Lively and surprisingly quick, the diesel feels much like the gas-powered three-cylinder turbo Club Man, only with a big helping of additional mid-range punch. The diesel S output tops the base gas-powered Club Man S1.5 liter turbocharged three-cylinder in both horsepower and torque with its 148 horsepower at 4,000 revolutions per minute besting the gas engine by 12 ponies and its 243 pounds to foot of to work at 1,750 revolutions per minute representing a significant 81 pounds to foot jump. The extra output is more than sufficient to handle the diesel model as nominal added weight, 44 to 88 pounds depending on transmission, according to many. Throttle response in the meat of the tachometer is immediate and robust, accompanied by a pleasant growl through 4,000 revolutions per minute. Above that, however, the sound changes to a gravely fracas and response falls off a cliff, so it has best to keep revs lower. Many S claim that the Cooper D Club Man shaves more than half a second from the gasoline version S0 to 62 mile per hour time. 8.5 seconds versus 9.1, is entirely believable. Those numbers may be somewhat conservative we coaxed the US spec club man to 60 miles per hour in 8.0 seconds in a recent test of an automatic equipped model so we do love to properly test the diesel ourselves. Factor in the D club man s considerable 20 to 25 percent improvement in fuel economy on the European test cycle. A hypothetical US model should be rated at better than 40 miles per gallon on the highway cycle, and at 2,380 pounds, about $3,150, higher price, though steep, seems worthwhile. Cooper SD, more is less. We were underwhelmed by the Mini Cooper hardtop SD four-door despite its smaller size and sportier mission. Like the Cooper D, the Cooper SD is powered by a 2.0-liter turbo diesel four-cylinder, only this one has been boosted to the tune of 168 horsepower and 266 pounds to foot of torque. Whereas the Cooper D is quicker than the standard Cooper, the SD hardtop four-door is slower than its Cooper S counterpart, which produces 189 horsepower and 207 pounds to foot. The SDS factory estimated 0 to 62 mile per hour time lags that of the Cooper S by half a second, at 7.4 seconds for both the manual and the 8-speed automatic. Fortunately, Mini says the weight will increase by only 33 to 55 pounds, leaving the S model S zippy handling more or less intact. At least at no s and cost as much to upgrade, only 795 pounds more than the gas model, or about $1,050 at current exchange rates. Why would anyone want to spend the extra coin for the SD? 
a massive 39 to 44 percent boost in fuel economy over the Cooper S and a large drop in CO2 emissions neither of which may be big motivators for customers in the states, we suspect, but with sky-high fuel prices across the pond, the calculus is different for Brits. While many was happy to indulge us with this diesel duo in England, we retold there are no plans in the foreseeable future to expand the US choices to include diesel-powered minis. The brand is in the process of consolidating its product range while simultaneously applying electrification to some of its models. Factor in the deleterious effect on diesels from recent emissions-related scandals, and a business case for many diesels is nearly impossible to make. It is too bad, since the D-Club man, in particular, is a driver's delight, s delight.